number five is creating confusion in chaos gaslighters thrive on creating chaos and confusion in relationships they may constant constantly change the subject move the goalposts or use diversionary actions to keep you off balance and questioning your own reality creating confusion in chaos so it's always like um always it's not always consistent always you know like there's always something happen again like trying to divert you you know like you always they it always divert your attention so you cannot focus on what is the really issue because your mind is always all over the place so like instead of just focusing on the you know like the real issue or like the possibility like something is off something is happening instead of digging deep dive for possible issue there's another um there's another issue there's another issue there's another issue there's not like until you already get full of chaos all the time so you just cannot focus on what's really important because you are so like so many things happening all at once at the same time so yeah they just want to create confusion so it makes you more you know like it's not easy for you to see through things you know to become more focused on what's really important what's really happening to reflect because he already bombarded you with so many stimuli or happenings so that's one of the gaslighter moves number f number six is isolating you from support gaslighters may try to isolate you from friends family or other sources of support as a way of gaining more control over you they may criticize your loved ones or try to turn them against you to weaken your support or network so like gaslighters like they will try to yeah again like isolate you for example because they just want you to only rely on them to only depend on them so your circle of friends are getting smaller and smaller and then your activity is getting more limited so you just feel so trapped and isolated and you can only move you know by his own by his approval your friends are also very you know like selective or probably there's no friends at all so you cannot ask for other outside support like everything is just support on him and then on him <laughs> what they were gonna do is they will try to put negative um image of your friends like oh you like are they your friends like saying bad things about your friends like are they really your friends like they are not good friends to you they are just bad influence in your life like you should cut them off avoid this kind of people like they just bring you know they feel jealous on you like they don't like um, they don't want you to be successful like I I know like they're jealous of you so you will just like questioning now your friends or your or people that will support you so you will just gonna be more you know your circle circle of supports is getting limited getting smaller and smaller or you're trying to detach now from your friends family or people that support you and then when it comes to them when he's talking to them they will gonna make you the bad guy like you know like your friends like for example me like you know like she's she's really have an attitude like sometimes um like sh he will gonna talk shit about you to your friends so your friends will now have a, like a false image like no she's not like that like she's our friends like i believe that like, ruining your reputations to other people so the people will also gonna have like this you know like ruining your reputations to other people so they will they will see you in a different light and also you see other people like outside support on a different light as well so you know just cutting off the ties and then so that's the reason like 
they see you like you are crazy you have got the attitude you know you have this bad reputation so people will trying to avoid you and then you will also trying to avoid the friends that you already have so in that way you just you know become more and more isolated and then also um, cut off the activities that you love like you just like now you're just doing what he loves to do or, or what that gaslighter activities will love you to do for them to everything is just rely on their approval right because that person is the only person that you can rely that you that's the only person that like you you don't have any more outside support so that's usually i am um, what gonna happen with the gaslighter person number seven is undermining your confidence yeah undermining your confidence um, gaslighter often chip away at your self-esteem and confidence by belittling you criticizing your abilities or making you feel inadequate over time this can erode your sense of self-worth and make you more dependent on them so that's what I told you like you're just they try like whatever your accomplishment if especially if you have confidence inner confidence um they trying to undermine your achievement and they will like they will only gonna see the negative like instead of you know like if you accomplish something if you achieve something they will just um they were just gonna belittle that achievement like yeah you made it but it's not enough or like well uh, yeah is that your accomplishment like it's not really a big deal anyway like it's not a big deal so you're just gonna you always feel insecure around gaslighter people you know like people that gaslighting or manipulative people they always wanted you to feel insecure like there are something wrong with you like no matter what you do you are not good enough or like you rely your confidence by their approval like i want to impress this person I want to do things because he never seems impressed by anything that I do maybe and then you become fixated by their approval like no matter what you do it you always gonna think about are they gonna approve this are they gonna like it like hopefully they would like it hopefully and then you're just gonna jumping through hoops like higher and higher and higher you know like performing acrobatics whatever like jumping through hoops just for their approval for their validation and no matter what you do they will always gonna be little or nagging that's what nagging trying to like or push and pull <laughs> if you know what i mean like they will just gonna just like yeah like oh yeah you're pretty but and then passive aggressive like they will just or backhanded compliment like they were just gonna praise you for something but cut it off two more like i just want you to be humble like i don't wanna you know i'm just gonna i don't want you to inf i don't want to inflate your ego so i'm telling you the truth i don't want i just want you to be humble but they never really praise you like they never see anything positive in whatever you do if you accomplish something if you have um, you know um, achieved something they will just maybe like yeah but you know and they were gonna say it in passive aggressive way or backhanded compliment and they were just like you just still need to improve like oh my god you're already happy with that like is that really something to be proud of like and you're always like it feels like you're not good enough like no matter what you do you're always gonna try to prove to them that like hey i'm i'm worthy i'm worthy of some you know i, I don't know like and then you feel more insecure and then you feel more isolated you're just feel alone and and you feel like nobody loves you now you're just unwanted 
and you always like waiting for that gaslighter approval and you are just like feeling trapped and now you're questioning your worth questioning yourself questioning your belief like your lack of self-confidence now and then your lack of circle of friends and a group of friends or a support group and now you become like that person is trying to cut off like cut you down like in whatever level until you become so little and put you in a smaller and smaller and limited box that all your movement is so restricted now so that's what gaslighter person will gonna do to you you know like chop you off cut you off cut you off to everyone to everything put you in the smaller and smaller and limited box until you already already feel so helpless that you only rely on them so that they can control you so there that's how to spot a gas lighter <laughs> so okay i'm gonna read more about it maybe on the next episode but i'm just like testing it out and yeah so this is my cat suit um it's a bit like like this and it's like faux leather so there see you around next time Mwah.